Hi guys. Two things. Well, probably more than that, but two main things. One, I've taken that old electric guitar part. There's a bit of it. And there's another bit of it. Somewhere. The neck of it is down there somewhere. And here's all the screws, nuts, washers, knobs, sockets, switches, twisty switches, or potentiometers, or whatever the bloody things are called. All there that I'm going to keep, I'm going to throw them in my box of bits. Plus I've got a knock on the door from my neighbour earlier. And he's given me these three speakers. I don't think they're anything super powerful from the look of it. And uh, this stereo system, which he says works. Um, which I will test as soon as I can find a uh, figure eight power cable, which is... Uh, In that pot. <laughs> feel it. This one. If you wonder what a figure eight is, one of those ones. I never know that's what they were called, or one of the names for them, until um, I was watching a video from Jay Wakefield the other day. And, uh, what he called them. I know they must have had a name because a lot of leads have some sort of nickname. I doubt it's their genuine name. Or the technical name. And so you've got the cloverleaf tote, which is similar to that but with three circles. And uh, then you've got the kettle leaf tote, which is commonly used on PCs. Right, well, I've plugged it in. It's making lots of relay noises. Let's have a look on the back. Why did that just make another relay noise? Ah. It's got an AM antenna, FM ant antenna. Well, that's good because I've got an aerial down there. Um, it's a CD changer, but I don't know. Oh, it's got MP3 as well. Let's put the camera up so I haven't got a shout at it. So we've got two speaker connections. Auxiliary. I'm not sure if that's in or out. That's probably in. So I could, like, I don't know, connect my PC to this if I wanted to, or... I suppose I could stick it over there somewhere and have a complete old school system. <laughs> and then perhaps use the amplifier on the P on well on one of my many PCs. I don't know, I'll think of something. So, what have we got on the front? Oh we've got tape decks. Good. That doesn't seem to uh, do anything. We've got buttons up here, what have we got? C D direct play. Ah, it's a five disc changer. One, two, three, four, and five. They're numbered. Ooh, it's doing something. That must be volume, stroke, tune. And turn it on. Yeah, that's volume. 80 decibels, 76 decibels, 72, 68, 64, 50, 50, 50, 50. Oh, and it goes down to zero. Well, that's weird. Because, uh, that way is turning it up, and that way is turning it down. I've never come across a stereo that does that. And what else have we got? Deck buttons, preset, super sound. Rewind, demo, tuner, auxiliary, tuner, CD, tape, all your usual buttons. Ooh. Okay, that's good to know. Right, I think we should connect these speakers up. We need that one there. I don't need that. So, what I was going to do, I'm going to cut these 
wires down and start with some fresh script ends. I'm not going to use my wire cutters for that because I'll just cut through these thin wires. So I'm going to use the next best thing, my teeth, as I haven't got a wire. A pair of wire strippers handy. Two. One. I don't know if I'll actually pick any radio up on this because uh, I haven't got it connected to anything. And I've got some CDs down here so we can test the CD deck. Right. One, I think. Well, I've heard some crackling so it's made a connection. And uh, what I'm going to do with the one with a plug still on it. I'm going to untie the bloody knot in the cable first, because I hate knots. Got a centre speaker with it as well. These aren't the actual speakers for this. But, um... I actually wouldn't mind an older stereo system, you know, with a record deck on top. The old sort of black... 80s hi-fi system. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've always liked those. But uh, things like that are now sort of uh, holding cash. So even in one of my local charity shops, get one in, they're um, a bit pricey sometimes. It's fair pricing, if they work, of course. But uh, as it's a charity shop, I presume it's been tested to make sure it does work. This lead is now starting to piss me off. I would turn you around so you can see, but um, I don't think you'd really want to see my big fat hairy belly. There, there we go. I think I've got most of the nut out anyway. Well, I've come this far, I might as well get the last little bit out. I don't know what brand of speakers these are. The um, that one's for a surround sound system. Panasonic surround sound system. Um, this doesn't have surround sound ports on it, so I doubt it came with this. Where's my snips? I'm going to snip off, leaving enough on there so I can reuse the plug for something else if I so wish. One's been a pain in the backside. Let's try that. Not many of these come with this type of cable either. They're usually um, fixed to the appliance. neighbour's been having to clear out like I have, but uh, I can find a use for this. We can indeed, at least we'll find out if the speakers work as well. All right. One. Two. We have speakers, yeah, this has got an AM antenna there. I don't know what the loop means, does it mean that makes it no, external antenna or something? Internal, rather? I don't know. Let's turn it around. Uh. Ow! <laughs> well, how do we tune? Ah, that's how we tune. See if it'll actually pick up anything without an FM aerial on it. It's got AM on it as well, but I know I've got a thing up on the wall there that I can plug in to um, a radio antenna. No, this isn't picking anything up, not without an antenna. Never mind, I don't matter. Well, we know that bit works. Oh, I know, let's see if the tape deck works. 
got these tapes here from the Kabuki stuff we got, didn't I? So, if I can get it open with one hand, switch the tape deck, open the tape deck. <laughs> let's pick out, let's pick out Kate Bush, shall we? This is where the video gets flagged for copyright now, isn't it? Right, make sure I'm putting the tape in the right way. Do that. Play button. Let's just fix it straight. To me, does that sound a bit weird? working. Heads might need a bit of a clean, but then again it could be a dodgy tape, who knows. Oh, it could be the tape. I'm just doing it on both decks. What else have we got? Ann Murray, uh, an orchestra. Should we have an orchestra? Let's try that. the heads a bit of a clean in here. Let's just try the other one. It's more than likely these old tapes to be honest. Yeah. I've got a fit through. It's going to work really well like that, isn't it? <laughs> I'm twisting the tape, that might have been why it went made that funny noise. Right, well, we know the tape deck works. We know the radio works, it's just not going to pick up anything with that an antenna plugged in. I haven't got anything at hand at the moment. Right. Chuck these out of the way. My battery's getting low, but... Uh, Hopefully there's enough in here just to quickly throw a CD in. No, that's what I call music. 57. As the price. Um, okay, Heartbeat Christmas CD. I know there's no tape. I want it on CD. I don't even know, um... <laughs> that sounds so tinny through those speakers, but... Oh, it's better when I activate that super sound. Usually there's like a, um... That's enough of that, otherwise I'll get copyrighted. <laughs> right, it does work, so... Go back to old school. I'm going to try and make some room on there and stick it up there. Oh, pardon me. Um, those speakers would be better to use. They're Sony speakers, which were given to me, they were. Um, and I've got a pair of decent speakers up. Um, on top of the kitchen cupboard in the kitchen. Well, where else will the kitchen cupboard be? 
<laughs> That's good. It works. I might see if he wants his uh, CD back though that was left in there. <laughs> Doesn't does it tell me? One disc. Let's see if there's any other discs in there, shall we? No, I don't think so, because it's getting through them all. Yeah. I can't even hear it reading the disc. It's great. I haven't had a CD player in years. I haven't had a stereo in years, to be honest. Hmm. Cool. No wonder. Let's eject quickly. So how do you put five CDs in the damn thing, man? You just stack them up in there, then? Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off. I just wanted to uh, show I've got a new toy and some older style of speakers. They would be better suited on an older black hi-fi system, which I want to obtain. Um, just thinking where to put this stereo. I can't find somewhere to put it. Anyway. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.